hello guys welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial today i'll be teaching you how to create passworded and non-editable pdf in current draw so this tutorial is useful for you if you sell books online maybe you sell on amazon or you sell on seller if you are in nigeria or any other platform that you sell your digital books and if you want such book to be passworded or you want your book to be sold in a way that no one will be able to edit your book no one will be able to copy the content of your book and no one will be able to print your book so this will help you to safeguard your book and no one will be able to create a pirated copy of your book so in this tutorial you are going to learn how to create a passworded pdf a non-copyable pdf and a non-printable pdf if you are visiting my channel for the first time my name is ola phillips i'm a website developer and i also create content like this online so if you are watching my video right now you can look below the video you can click on the title of the channel or my picture below this video then it will land you on this page where you can see other tutorials that i've created in this channel okay and you can also check my playlist i have playlist on correct draw on microsoft word on tech on making money online on other aspects of text that you may want to learn from okay now without wasting your time at all let's get into this tutorial so to do this we are going to be needing two major related software but these two software are not heavy at all as you can see the size right here this is just well, 3000 kilobytes that should be 3 mb and this is 398 kilobytes it is not even up to 1 mb okay so the name of the software is Qt writer and the other one is converter now these two software you can get both of them on a website and if you go to your browser you visit qtpdf.com then you can see right here you can click on free download this software is absolutely free if you want to download it and in this tutorial i will be teaching you also how to use it in correct draw so this software is not actually standing alone we are going to use it as an hard on in correct draw okay so make sure you watch this tutorial to the end and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like on this video all right so i'm going to install this software right now the first one i'm going to install is the Qt writer and if you are downloading it online you can see it right here free download you can click on it then it will download but to save our time i'm not going to download it again i've already downloaded it to my computer so i'm going to click on it right here so that i can install it the quit pdf writer okay so i click on accept agreement and click next then i click next again and install it does not take much time at all to get installed because the software is very very light okay that has been installed now it is leading me to the website to download this second software okay so the idea is this when you visit quizpdf.com the link is in the description below if you are not getting it right here you can check the description below click on it it will direct you to this website so once you click on free download you can see the mb here is just 3.16 mb once you click on this it will download this quit writer for you so after installing this quit writer then it will automatically direct you to this page just make sure that you are connected to the internet then it will direct you to this page to download the free pdf editor okay but as for me i've downloaded it already so i'm going to click it so that i can install right so i click on install so you can see it is connecting very much important that you are connected to the internet okay so as you can see right here on my screen the free converter is installed correctly then i click ok so the two software are installed now then the next thing to do for me right here is to go to my 
current draw application so that I can make use of this software to password my PDF document, make it non-copyable and also make it non-printable. Okay, so I'm starting my current draw right now. Okay, so normally I can start a new document like this and choose my paper size. I want to choose my paper size to be A4. Now, our major focus here is that when you are done with your book, you want to make your book non-copyable, non-printable and non-editable so that nobody will be able to create a pirated copy of your book. Now, if your book is written in Microsoft Word, in one of my previous tutorials, I made a comprehensive tutorial on how to convert your Microsoft Word document to Corel Draw. So, with no hassle, you can easily bring your Microsoft Word document to Corel Draw environment so that from there you can password your PDF document or you can also make it non-copyable or non-printable okay so I'm just going to copy some text here so that we can just use it but it works even if your document is 1000 pages it works the same but to save time let me just copy something okay so let me just copy this text here Okay, so as you can see, this is a PDF document, but I can copy and if I click here also, I can print this document. So in this tutorial, we are going to make it non-copyable and non-printable. Okay, so I go back to my correct draw. Let me use my text copy, and paste the text that I've copied. Okay, so I'm pasting the text right here so let's assume that this is our document and of course we copied from a pdf document now to make it non-copyable we are going to go to file and uh, click on print now under printer you have your installed printer under this printer also you will see the software that we just installed which is Qt PDF Writer. So you are going to select Qt PDF Writer instead of Microsoft PDF. Okay, we have Microsoft Print to PDF here. So you are not going to use that. You are going to use the new software that we have installed. So Qt PDF Writer. Then you can set your preferences here. You can uh, automatically select. Do you want it to be colored or you want it to be black then you can also set your layout do you want it to be portrait or landscape okay then you can click on advance then the paper size here is letter you can change it also to a4 because you are we are making use of a4 okay then i click on okay then i click on apply all right so after clicking on apply then i click on okay to print so once you click ok then you can name your pdf file here so let me just write a uh, new document let me just write new doc okay so i'm just writing new doc and i want to save it on my desktop now this is the major thing in this video we want these documents to be non-copyable non-editable and non-printable okay so i'm going to click on hard password okay so if you are using microsoft pdf of course it is not going to have this feature but immediately you install kit pdf you will have this option so when i click on hard password then you will see password required to open document so i check this box so if i put a password here then whoever i send this pdf document to we need me to give him or her the password so that he can open the pdf but let's leave this for now let's focus on password required to change permission and password okay so when you check this you can now choose these options here you can choose no printing meaning 
this document should not be printable, no changing the document should not be editable, no content copying or extracts. Okay, so you can leave this last to no adding or changing comments. That is, if you had comments or a form feed to your PDF. Okay, but if your document does not have comments and form feed, then you are good to go with these three options no printing, the document will not be able to be printable, then no changing, non editable then you cannot copy or extract any content of the PDF. Okay, so with doing this, I just need to put master password. Let me just put one, two, three, four. Okay, so it is passworded. Now, if this file is opened, it is not going to require for password, but it cannot be editable. Okay, so let me just click OK. I'm saving it on my desktop and the name is new doc. Okay, so I will click OK. Then it is requiring that I confirm my password. Okay, confirm the password to change security option. So I'm putting one, two, three, four again as my password. Then I save. All right, so let me go to my desktop now and look for this document. So the document is right here new doc. Then I'm clicking on it. I'm opening it with uh, Microsoft Explorer. Right, so let me just try to copy. Right, you can see I can add notes, I can do any other thing, but you can see to copy, I cannot copy. Even if I right click on it, you can see copy is not available. To copy is not available. Now, let me open another document. Let me see if there's another document. Okay, so I'm opening this document, you can see right here the copy is available so if i right click on it i can copy but the one we restricted people from copying if i right click on it i cannot uh, copy so now let me open it again with google chrome let me open it with google chrome let's see if it works open with All right so let me just try to copy All right you can see to copy you cannot copy and if I come here and say I want to print, if I click on the print icon, it is not going to print. If I click, if I press Ctrl P on my keyboard, it is not still going to print. So this document, you cannot do anything to this document. Now, lastly, let me do something. Let me start my Microsoft Word. Okay. So in one of my tutorials, I made a tutorial on how to convert your PDF to editable document in Microsoft Word. So that exactly is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to try to convert this PDF to an editable document and let's see what happens. So I'm going to file, then I'm going to open, then I will go to my desktop and uh, okay. Then I look for new documents, just the document we saved just now. Then I click on open. So let's see what happened. Okay, you can see what we now convert your PDF to editable document, which is the normal thing. I click OK. Then you can see the error message right on my screen. We are sorry, the author of this document has set permission that don't allow the content to be reused in other applications. So this works perfectly. So you can see once you do this, nobody will be able to edit your document. Nobody will be able to print it as hard copy. So your soft copy is safe online when you want to say. Okay. So lastly, if you want to password your document because that document was actually passworded for non editable and non printing. So, but if you want, just want to password your, your PDF, you can go back to print, then choose PDF writer and click OK. So once you click OK, you go back to add password. Then instead of choosing this second one, you choose the first one and just put your password 1234. You can choose any password of your choice. But this time around, I'm not going to make it non printing and uh, non uh, copyable. Okay, I just want to password it. Okay, so I will just click OK. Then I put the password again and click OK. Then let me rename it to Doc2. Okay, then it's on my desktop. Then I'm going to save right now. 
okay so doing that let me go to my desktop and look for the file so doc2 i'm double clicking on it to open it okay so of course this document is not accessible without password so immediately i put my password one two three four and click ok then i can see my document okay so whichever one you want to do but i think if you are selling books online and you want it not to be piratable like people shouldn't be able to make a pirate of your book you can use this method to make your pdf non-copyable non-editable and non-printable all right my name is Ola Phillips if you are visiting my channel for the first time I'm a website developer if you need my service you can easily contact me through my mail and if you like this channel please subscribe to this channel turn on notification bell and please don't forget to like this video and share this video thank you for watching this tutorial